Hi, my name is Dana, and my husband Eric and I have been a part of Zoe Church since day one back in 2014. So if you would have asked me what my journey was going to look like um, when Eric and I got married at the young age of 23, um, I would have told you I was going to wait a couple years and then uh, we would start having kids. But the reality of that is um, our journey looked very different from that. God started kind of just bringing new things into our heart, um, new things we had never thought of before, new ways that our family might grow, um, very different from what we had imagined it would look like. Um, he started really opening our eyes to some needs um, that we saw in the city and through different researching and, and kind of just looking into it more, um, we really started looking into fostering. So as we started looking into that, our hearts just started breaking um, and we just felt like the Lord was saying, I am opening your eyes to this because this is your journey. As we got into it, we got our first placement, um, a baby girl straight from the hospital in 2017. She came to our home and the second um, they delivered her to our front door actually in this very house, uh, they brought her to us and handed her over and we signed papers to say that we were her uh, foster parents and we didn't know anything about her case, but uh, I just remember like looking at her and holding her and being like, wow, here we go, this is, this is it. And <laughs> yeah, you can't be can't be prepared for that moment and although I'm not a biological mother I can't imagine that it's much different from like looking to the face of a new baby um, and knowing that their life is now in your hands and yeah I'll never forget that first day of um, having that baby in our arms and she was with us for 19 months and she was reunified with her birth mom I really felt the peace of God come over me and say this is what I've called you to do this is your journey in motherhood and I will sustain you and I'm gonna show up for you. And what I have for you is beyond what you can even plan for yourself. And I felt that peace and I felt that wind in my back to keep going and I know he's called me to do this and I know he's called me to be a foster mother. She's now um, three and a half and we have the most beautiful extended family relationship with her birth family. Um, we get to see her frequently. We get to be a part of their lives. Um, it's just honestly such a story of redemption. And we have our second foster daughter now um, and we're on the path to adoption. So we are so excited about where that is headed and just trusting God for that journey and for her journey and um, just so excited for what's ahead. So maybe your journey to motherhood has not been quite like mine, but I know that we all have difficulties. We all experience hard days. And so I just wanna encourage you, all the moms out there, that whatever you're going through, that God has got you. He's gonna sustain you, that he is faithful. And even the hardest days are going to pass and that your love for your children is impacting them more than you could ever understand. So just keep going. We've got this, we're in this together. Lean on your community and um, you're the best mom.